Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook C++ Programs to Accompany Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joanne Smith. And in this video, we're covering Lab 4-4. Like uh, the previous lab, this one is also trying to find an employee's bonus. Only this time, we're going to use a switch statement. And we're going to factor in the yearly salary and a performance rating. Uh, the performance rating is, you know, we, we don't really know how they are, how the bosses assign that. That's not really covered in this problem. We're just going to assign a number. And somehow the bosses came up with what their rating gets, and that's a, something aside from this problem. Uh, so there is no equation to figure that out. We're just trying to figure out the bonus. Um, let's start from the beginning here. Oh, and make sure you correct some of the changes I've made. If you have the book, it's really easy to do. Uh, but let's start here in the variable section. Just like the last one, we've got first name, last name. We're going to figure out what their salary is, or we're just going to say what their salary is. Um, we've got a rating for each employee. And again, we don't know how that's determined. That We're just going to enter a number. And a, you know, that's, that's all we're going to do with that. Um, we also have a variable for the bonus they're going to receive. And then their bonus can either be any of these constants down here. We've got bonus 1, 2, 3, and then we also need one for no bonus. Because there's going to be, basically in a, in a switch statement, there's a default at the very end. And so they may not get a bonus, which would be very upsetting. And then we've got some constants here for the ratings because in our switch statement we're going to switch out whatever we number we give as an employee rating we're going to switch that out with one of these and whatever number we enter is going to determine which one of these ratings is going to be put in as we switch out our employee rating so we have constants for each rating and those ratings will be applied to the equation to figure out which bonus they get. Um, next, we have our inputs. We're going to input employee name, you know, first name. We're going to do their last name. We're going to also put in their salary and their rating. And so here's where we get to the switch statement here. So what this means is switching whatever you enter for the employee rating, we're going to switch that out with whatever rating matches the number you put in as employee rating. So let's say you put a 1. It's going to take this and it's going to say, okay, I'm going to switch this with one of these ratings. And if you put a 1 in here, then it's going to go through and say, which one of these ratings is assigned the number 1? We can go up here and say, oh, rating 1 is assigned the number 1 here. So if we put a 1 in here, it's going to switch out with this one. So it's just basically matching. And then because it does that, then it's going to look inside of this case right here and say, all right, we're going to do this equation right here. So your employee bonus is now equal to the employee salary times bonus 1. So bonus 1 is inside of rating 1. Bonus 2 is inside of rating 2. So if you put a 2, then it's going to go through here and it's going to say, no, 2 doesn't match what's assigned to rating 1. It matches what's assigned to rating 2. So we're going to use this here. We're going to switch this out and then use this equation. And of course, all the rest of these are skipped. You always want to make sure you have a break after each case or else it'll it's going to run all of these as well. And you don't want that. You just want it to use one of these. So that's, that's kind of how the, the switch statement works. And then last, we're going to output the employee's name, their salary, their rating, and the bonus they're going to get. And um, yeah, so I went decimal places, two decimal places. So I use these two things here, and you need this header. Uh, let's go ahead and run the program and check it out real fast. Uh, Dave and oh, no space. Um, 
V. And the employee's yearly salary. Uh, let's see, I'm going to type in maybe 80,000. And their rating. Let's say they, they get like a 2. Let's use a 2 for that. So the it you, you see how it it outputs um, the name, the salary, the rating, and then it shows the bonus. And uh, let's kind of check out uh, what would happen if we put in a number that wasn't any one of these. Let's do the same guy. Yearly salary, um, eighty again. Performance rating, um, maybe a zero, or I guess the higher the number might be, the lower the. Well, anyway, let's just do a zero. So, employee rating, and the employee bonus is zero because none of these match any of these. So it's going to go to the default and it's going to be no bonus. So that's how the uh, switch statement works. Um, not too difficult there, but a, a little bit confusing. But hopefully this will kind of shine some light on how it works. Um, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lab.